Let me see here. Let me see here. So, so there was a chat message earlier that reminded me to do something that I, I forgot about entirely. Um, let me just... I hope the video is still up. I hope he hasn't gotten rid of the video yet. Oh, it's still up! So a little while ago we looked at a, <clears throat> you know, an individual called Mighty Pups Fanboy, and he was, uh, you know, he was a very special needs adult. He uh, has sex with his, his, his puppy plushie from the Mighty Pup TV show, uh, Pup Patrol, P Paw Patrol. He has sex with his, to his doggy plushie, um, allegedly. Allegedly, but what we did see was him like awkwardly forcing a kiss on this woman who didn't want to be filmed But he was like filming it the whole time and it was a very weird situation anyways uh, That developed in such a way that a, gu a guy was messaging me. He was like Mighty pups fanboy is is terminating my channel. He's attacking my channel Not mine, but this guy this other guy. He was like I'm being attacked by mighty pups fanboy He's like he's like copyright striking me. Well, anyway, that channel's gone now. So it appears that Mighty Pups Fanboy was able to successfully remove a, a channel that was, like, talking shit about him. Or maybe just re-uploading his content. I'm really not sure exactly what he was doing, but he was able to get rid of the channel anyway. And, uh, and, and that'll be addressed. That was to be addressed. Uh, the, all of that and more. Apparently he got a movie theater employee fired uh, cause he, like, stalked the guy or something, it was very, I don't know, but he's gonna, don't worry everybody, because he's addressing everything. He's addressing everything, and he looks pretty serious here, so, you know, I think this is gonna be a big message. Let's, hey, let's see what's going on. Hey guys, um, it's Mighty Puss Family here back again, and welcome back, um, to a live stream. Now, this is not ordinary live stream, um, this is, a uh, special kind of live stream that I want to address that I want to get this done again over with was this is like going to be like the toughest live stream that I'm actually um that I'm actually going to do um today you guys toughest live stream ever guys, I'm going to um discuss about uh, at least we have really good video quality for it what happened to me um in the past <clears throat> between um what the end word and the and the all word, it, a little bit difficult to make out there, but I'm pretty sure he said the N word. Between um, with the N word and the and all the incidents, including um the incident, what happened between um me and the me and the movie theater employee, which I'm not gonna say his name. Oh boy, this video quality is really making this more spooky than it needs to be. I'm just calling movie theater employee and. The so I'm just waiting for some people so that way they'll come to my live stream. Oh. Hey Claw, how's it going? <laughs> oh, it's Prince Claw. My bad, my bad. <laughs> it's like he's he's watching me through time. He knew I was gonna see this. So that way they'll come to my live stream. Oh hey chat member, yeah the uh, the one thing you can do to make sure I never look at somebody is to spam Hey, Deadwing, let's watch more Tyler Va No, that's- you're gone forever. I'm not looking at that, whatever that is. That could be the funniest person ever, and I'm not looking at it now, so thanks. Good job. Hey, Claw. How's it going? Hey, buddy. It's going all right. Yeah, um... Yeah, um... I am streaming out of nowhere. I'm just talking about what's happened in my past. So, so, um, so apparently, um, what happened was. So apparently, what happened in my past, and I wasn't there for it in my past, but apparently, this is what I've been told is what happened. It's just, it's just, um, it's just, I just want to say that. Um, I'm just waiting for people who can ask me questions about what happened to me in my past with the N-word incident. And <laughs> the N-word incident? Was this like the Shadow Moses incident? How many, how many people died all of this. during the N-word incident? 
I just want to get this out of my system. This has been request by Ethan, Paul Xbox 126. So, oh, I thought Ethan Ralph was involved in the case, but it's a much more reputable figure. Ethan Xbox fan 1286 or whatever. So, um, so, um, apparently what happened was, um, I just want to, um, address everything what happened. I'm just want to answer me some, um, wait for some questions about what happened with the past so that way I can get started with the stream. N-word incident ASMR. That's right, Chad. Give me a sec, you guys. Yeah. Just give him a sec. Speed it up a little here. Make him sped. What happened with the past? Um, apparently what happened in the past is that... Um, apparently. Is that, I think you know, is that um, back in my older videos... Sorry, guys, it was just a dog. Just give me a sec. Sorry about that. You just hear a thud and then a whimper. Hold on, just give me a sec, guys. I'm checking to see if the door's locked. Just like a... Sorry about that. Sorry about that, you guys. I was locking the door. So apparently, what happened um in my past is that apparently um, um before we get into the N word um then let's get into um, the biggest incident that happened was um between um me and the whole um movie theater <laughs> employee. Before we get to the N word, guys, we gotta talk about the movie theater employee. Incident. Um, it happened um back in January um January um, of last year, I believe. I remember that, um, I remember that, um, when I actually, um, went to, um, the movie theaters, however, that I went to the movie theaters, however, and then, and then I remember when I actually got home, I was, like, scrolling through Instagram and all that, and then, um, apparently, um, I actually met, um, this guy, which I'm not gonna say his apparently. name. Apparently. Can you do it back, can you do it backflip? I, I wish, I wish. Yeah, but do a flip, buddy, I don't think they mean that in a nice way. So, um, apparently what happened was, is that, um, after that, on Instagram and then um he actually called me back and then I kind of text him for a while you know um, and then uh, after that and then after that um what happened was uh, pretty much uh, basically um uh, apparently um is that is that um on the first time that I met um the employee was all the way back in July of last year mm -hmm. when apparently. I was placing the movie The Flash uh. and then um after all of this could have been avoided if it wasn't for fucking Ezra Miller and God damn it! That, um, he basically, um, you know, I turned his back away from me, you know? Well, I just want to give you guys that as an example. Like, so, what are you like, doing, buddy? And, um, he actually covered... Buddy, you're ruining your whole... Your whole video quality here. It was going so well. You you finally had at least one P for a little bit there. His badge and turned his back like this. <clears throat> So, and then um, at the time, I didn't even knew it was um, the employee that I followed um, from the start. It was because it was because um, it was because he dyed his hair like a pinkish color, uh -huh. something like that. Hold on, just give me a sec. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just one. Just give me a sec, guys. Sorry about that, you guys. I was Hang on, guys. I gotta go check my portfolio. So apparently, um, after that, um, I just kind of ignored him and all, and all that. And I, Apparently, this is what's been. In, this is what I've been informed of. Went to my screen. You know, I was having one of my rage attacks, and I just couldn't discern fact from fiction. Flash, and then like a day later, um, a day later, um, I saw his newest recent post that he dyed his hair, and and that's so. So ra random movie theater employee. This guy found his like social media, and started following him, like in real life too. I'm confused. Because I was told that Mighty Pop here f stalked a movie theater employee and got him fired. And I'm just confused as to why that happened. He, he's, is, did it happen because the guy dyed his hair and, and he just decided to stalk him after that? I'm confused. I realized that it was him who apparently um, ripped up my ticket so, so that way I can go see The Flash. <clears throat> so, and then um, after that, um, and then after that, um, I decided to just ignore him for a while, you know. And then, um, just give me a second. Like how the, the shitty video quality is, is it's kind of like if you asked an AI to draw Mighty Pups fanboy, you know? Sorry about, 
Sorry about that, you guys. So after that, so so apparently what so, happened was um, after that. Right after that, that. Is that um, when I went to go see the movie um, Strays, um, I tagged him on my Instagram post. Strays? When um, I was about to go see Strays, um, wear my Strays shirt and all that, the, a custom um, <clears throat> shirt. Is that like right after that? Um, he replied to me saying, um, can you stop, um, message, message, stop message, message me as much? And I was like, okay, with it. And then, um, I kind of leave him alone for a while now. And, and that was until, um, the next year in 2024 in February is that, um, is that that was when I actually met him for the second time. Sorry, I was muted. Chat member, you know, you say that it's 99% um and 1% actual explanation, but I mean, I, we got to give them some credit here. This is at least, tw this is like, tw this is at least 20% explanation and 80% um, you know, it's not so bad. And that was when I went um, to um, the other movie theaters in Uptown. So, so, <clears throat> so he meets a guy, works at a movie theater. For some reason, he now follows the guy on social media and starts spamming him with messages. Because the guy, like, dyed his hair or something. And now the guy tells him to stop spamming him with messages. And, uh... And, and this guy still tracks him down at the movie theater again, like, later next year. And for the second time. For and the that second was time. I went to um, the other movie theaters in Uptown. And then um, I actually saw him, and then um, and then when I saw him, he basically um, you know run, ran away from me. And then I told him that if he doesn't want to talk to me, that's okay. And he didn't reply to me or anything like that. He ran away from Mighty Pups fanboy guys. And after that, and then after that, um, one of the employees um went up to me and told me that if I was um harassing him, and then um. <clears throat> And then um, after that, I explained to the movie company that this was a whole um, misunderstanding. This and is a misunderstanding. As I was chasing after him through the streets, and he was screaming, you know, and he hid himself in a trash can, and I was looking around in a dark alley for him in the trash can, you know, and I was just like, this is a misunderstanding! Um, I promise! Um... And after this was a whole misunderstanding, um, the employee um, actually let me go, you know, and I went to go see the movie um, Bummer One Love, and sorry for the... The employee let you go from chasing him. Camera quality for the people in the comments is because I'm actually filming this um, at a at a new home, so just so you know, sorry, it's the best, it's the best I can do to you guys, I'm sorry. So anyway, so um, is there a way that I can hide the comments? I just want the stream to have no comments or engagement. Well, there is a way. <clears throat> Prince Claw down here is trying to get him in touch with some other, some other cool people. Thank Ica you guys. Um. So. I will, I will explain about that in a bit, you guys. Just give me a moment to explain everything. So. So every so, anyways, you guys. So, anyways, so, can we get back to the N word incident? Yeah. Thanks, Ethan. So thanks, an, Ethan. Anyways, you guys. So after keep it up. Great moves. Movie theater incident. Incident. Uh, when I went to go see um, I thought I bought this. I thought I, I thought I bought this guy. <laughs> Hold on. This is like if I did a, a an April Fool stream again. That's what this would be. Hold on, guys. So, 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 um, um, so, 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 um, so, yeah, so, 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 yeah, so, um, uh, um, so, yeah, so, so, okay, yeah, so, is that, um, after the whole movie theater incident, incident, uh huh, thank you, um, Hayes, I really appreciate it. <laughs> 
Uh, his life is like one piece, too. It's like arc after arc. You end the movie theater incident so that you can transition swiftly into the N-word incident, okay, you know? Thank you. So, <coughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. I love you all. I love you I'm all. I'm sorry, sis. I gotta... I just gotta let this all out. It's it's kind of like the toughest life change I had to do, but I gotta get this done. So oh, a part of what oh happened God, was is that after the whole incident and all that, when I went to go see um the Garfield movie in theaters, <laughs> um, the thing I didn't even knew is that is that um is that um I purchased my movie ticket like like a month in advance, something like that, and then um the thing I didn't a even month in advance. Oh, the a month in a, okay okay. Is that the person the movie theater employee, um actually um actually um was right next to my seat and i didn't even knew until i got to the movie theater and then um after and then um after that um i actually went up to him and he told me that i can't sit next to him and i told him that i wasn't excuse me the thing that is that after that i told him that i wasn't here to i was here to see a movie and nothing else and then this is when the movie theater employee guy told um told me that told me told me Hang on, I'm sorry. I can't do this the uh, the normal way. I, I don't have the the soundboard's not working today. So just give me a second here. Um, um, let me just uh, just find it here. Hang on, just give me a second here. Just uh, this, is, this is very important. This is very important. Um, need to uh, yeah yeah. Here we go. There we go. There we go told me that he actually um he, he looked back on me and told the audience that that can someone stop can someone tell this guy to stop harass, um stop army or stop army and then i actually um went to the movie theater lobby i changed my movie ticket um i sat in the top row and then um after that i went to watch garfield the garfield movie and then um after um that when i walked out of the movie theater i was you know vlogging my garfield vlog if you guys have seen my vlog and also and also, um, and also, um, after that, um, I was, you know, saying the song, I have a good life from the Garfield movie. Yeah, for those just joining, uh, he said the N-word out of the Garfield movie, I think. I, I don't know, I'm trying to piece it together. I think he said the N-word, well, he had, the, he had an N-word incident while he was at the Garfield movie, I think? I'm not sure. Something it's, like that. It's just, it's just after... That hold on, let me read some I'm sorry for that please. No, he just said the truth. So so and then um so and then um after so and then um after that I was you know dancing in the lobby singing the song, having a good life, and then after yeah. that the Im The music ran out, it was too it was just, this was a little too museum of anything goes. This is a little too anything goes. The the one of the general managers told me that about the whole incident between me and the movie theater employee and all that, saying that um if this happens again if this happens um again something like that with me and the movie employee will all be temporarily suspended. So and then after that I decided not to care about that, and then um and to tell you guys the truth that was the last time that I saw this employee and I'm trying my best to stay away from him. So and after that I went to go see Spider Man and all that. And then um, what happened was on May 29th of 2024 is that the last thing that I knew is that when I went to um, back to the Uptown movie theater to go watch The Crow, next thing I knew is that they told me that um, that I was tempered. It would be so funny if he was just like, I want to watch The Crow, um, um, and then um, it turned out it was, um, it was bad. And then he just and then he just tells us about the N word incident. Suspended from that movie theater for the next ten for the next ten years, and I kind of freaked out. I kind of freaked he out. He got suspended from the movie theater for ten years. I had a real bad panic attack over it. It was a really tough time for me. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It really was. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the Crow remake got him banned from the movie theater for ten years. Just gotta let that all out. So uh, sometimes so, you gotta man, let it um, out, man. Hold on, guys. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So and then um after that, you guys um I actually went. Yeah, to he's not gonna be able to see the um movie anymore. To, um, the other movie theater. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yes, yes, uh, yes. Chat, actually, I'm in chat, actually, right now, as you, as, as we speak. You see me, you see me there. I'm, I'm here somewhere. Where am I? Prince Claw, there I am. That's me with the, with the pony avatar. That's me. That's me. Uh, I can't go to Prince Claw's channel. What a shame. What a shame. After that, I went to the other movie theater to go watch The Crow. And then, and then I was actually really happy that I saw The Crow. Is that, um... Is that, um... <laughs> oh my god, he's dying. Sorry about that, my cough. I had an allergy attack recently on Saturday. Hope you guys understand. So, I understand, uh, buddy. <coughs> I understand. You were coughing and it sounded like you said the N-word, but you were actually just coughing. I get it. So, after that... It happens to me all the time. Um, so, after that... um. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Um, let me get some drink of water. Or I'll be right back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I imagine if he comes back with the drink of water and he now speaks perfectly fluently and eloquently, you know. All right, he's going to go get some water. All right, he's back. There we go. He's got some water. F is for friends who do nothing. And me. Sorry about that. You should be. Uh, look at this pog face in this one frame. That's really good. I, I, I'm sure he's not actually making a pog face right now, but... So, so, um, so, anyways, you guys, so, as I was saying, so, a day after I went to go see, um, The Crow, um, the thing that I didn't even realize, thank you, guys, thank you. So, the thing is, is that after, a day later, after I saw The Crow in the theaters, um, I just got an email from, um, the movie theater about while I was at work. And I had a real, and from the general manager saying that I wasn't, that I'm actually not um, welcome back at the movie theater until further notice. And, and, um, and according to the email saying that I wasn't welcome back until like the next 10 years, 10 years going to one of the employees. So, and next thing I knew, I had a really bad panic attack at work. So he's, so, so, um, so, so also, so, um, so also, um, um. And I kind of um dish my um dish my work about that because um I had a really bad panic attack and next thing um I knew for the whole day I was gone at work um which I actually booked in which I actually booked in yeah he I guess um some guy saying um is just comedy now I guess some guy who worked at a movie theater. He like decided to follow him or something, or or stalk him on social media somehow. He found his like t Twitter handle or something. I don't know. But the guy dyes his hair. Mighty Pups fanboy finds out all about it. He starts sending him enough messages that the guy is like, "Please stop sending me messages, sir." Which you know, to be fair, could have just been one, but it could have been several. Um. And then he, f and then he chases the guy when he goes to the theater again, and he sees the, the movie theater employee. He he chases him. I I think I think that's what's happening. It's really hard to determine between all the ums. You know, it's like mining for gold, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in this thing. But uh, I think that's it. Uber ride on to. And now he's banned for ten years because I didn't have um. Worth this. Um, thank you for the, thank you for the movie request. I'll make sure I review on that. So after so after that, I went to the mall and I stayed there for like a couple two hours. I had um any couple two hours and pretzels, little cinnamon pretzels because I didn't have breakfast during that time because I was so depressed about what happened. His mouth looks like it's trapped in a pog shape. In the night before, and then um and then um after there we go, and then um after and then um after that uh -huh. I no, actually no, after. Um, went to the arcade. Well, on my way to the arcade, I had a nosebleed, and I went to Best Buy to stop my nosebleed. So that's when you called someone the N-word. For happening. And then, um, after that, I actually went to, um, my local arcade place, which was Chuck E. Cheese, which I actually stayed there for the whole- Uh-oh, that better not be where he called someone the N-word. Present day. And then, um, after that, I went back home. This adult man who has sex with his dog plushie goes and chills at a Chuck E. Cheese all day. Oh boy. One of my caregivers on picking up. And I actually got back home and and the next thing I Yeah, yeah, he went to Best Buy to stop his nosebleed. They have the best technology. So like they could probably do it, right? I mean Best Buy, there's probably like a doctor there, right? You know? About five minutes after I got back home, I got a call from my boss. 
well, the text from above saying that me and him at a local pizza place. And then um, I actually went to the local pizza place. And then um, after all of that, I actually got to, I was actually waiting for that, waiting for my boss for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me, guys. So anyway, so after that, my boss showed up. And we're word in the ball pit. Da, 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 conversation about everything about what happened and all that. And next thing I knew, um, my my boss was kind of disappointed in me. And um, after that, um, I got a temporary um, write-up from my job. That, um, but thankfully, guys, everything's okay now because um, the temporary write-up is actually long. Okay, thank because God. Because I got a two-month write-up, which my write-up did not expire until like the beginning of August. He so, trashed his entire career over a movie theater employee with colored hair. I mean, I've been there. I mean. Right now. So, but anyways, I'm back to the whole um, incident between um, me and the employee guy. So, um, the next thing I didn't know until we posted it on Instagram is that, um, is that um, around a couple of days after I went to go see the Garfield movie, after this whole incident about that, um, me and my buddy, um, Zeke Real, actually contacted the movie theater, my one of my local movie theaters. Zeke Real? What's his fucking name? Me and my buddy, um, Zeke Real, actually contacted the- I, I'm choosing to believe that's his real, like, legal given name. Movie theater, my one of my local movie theaters. And saying that on um, the whole instant about what happened at the movie theater between me and him. My chat just fucking crashed on me. That's cool. And then um, and at first I thought um that they w that it was just going to be like a small Ugh. talk. I know, I know, Jeremy. I know. Thank you. Thank I you know, so Jeremy. I know. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So I'll explain about that in a bit. I'll explain that in a bit. Um, in a bit. Um, 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 um hot I forced to the death. I'll explain that in a bit, guys. I'll explain that in a bit. So, so I didn't stop. Maybe he was trying to say Ezekiel, yeah. Or harass him. So anyway, so after that, what <laughs> happened is that um immediate. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Oh my God. So, so um, yeah. I just wanna. I I don't know about the movie theater guy. Uh, uh, Mighty Pups, I just want to know why you were looking at little pic pictures of little kids in the bathtub. Um, so, um, um, so, uh, so also, um, so... Um, so the thing Pretty is, much, um... That, um, right after that, um... Um, I, I was like, um, uh, pretty much like, you know, why not? Um... We called the movie theater and we told everything what happened, and next thing I knew it was nothing that I expected was going to happen. Every time I think about it, it feels like I'm stuck in this nightmare and I can't wake up from this nightmare. <laughs> I'm just, no. life is closing in on me, man. It's getting harder by the moment. <laughs> Next thing I can do, he had you, that. That wasn't even the song I was going for. That's fine. That one happened. <coughs> Sorry, guys. There's my thing about this. It feels like I'm stuck in this nightmare and I couldn't make up from this nightmare. <laughs> and then, um, after what happened. Is that he, the nightmare he, is the video quality. <laughs> that he, uh, he made it up that he got fired from his job because of my report that I did. And he made up all these get to know the person first before you start. Wait, I'm sorry. Hang on. Hold on. Are you saying you got fired because of the movie employee? He got fired? And then, um, after what happened is that he, is that he, um, he made it up that he got fired from his job. Because oh, he got fired. Right, right. Because of my report that I did. So this guy reported a movie theater employee for running away from him while he was being chased, I guess. And the movie theater guy got fired. I like that this movie theater seems to be the true centrist in this. They banned him from the premises for ten years and also fired the guy. They're just like, you know what? I'm, wa I'm We're washing our hands of this whole thing. We don't want anything to do with either of you. And he made up all these get to know the person first before you start hanging out with this guy. And I actually learned that the hard way. I know. I he know. made it up that he got fired? Who did? Mighty Pops or the other guy? Did the other guy go on social media and pretend to get fired to, <clears throat> to make this guy feel bad or something? I know. I know. But the good thing is, um, the guy who got fired at the employee is doing everything, um, according to him, with him, he's actually okay now because he's got a new job around like, around like, um, a month after he got fired from his job. Is that, I cannot believe I'm going to say his name. Daniel Vasquez, I'm so, so sorry. 
Did he just say the name of the guy he said he wasn't going to name the movie theater employee? Is it Daniel Vasquez? <laughs> Daniel Vasquez, the Miles Morales, Tonka Trucks, and sh Strawberry Shortcake fan, 1978. Sorry about what happened to you. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry, Daniel Vasquez, who lives at 418 Dick Point Rock. I got his, I got his, I got his zip code here if you need it. Jeremy, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. I can't that. believe he framed and doxed a user. But it's so loud. Ethan Paul Xbox 126 told me to do this on stream. <clears throat> So, um, so, so apparently it was, but the good thing is everything's okay now, so, to another yeah, incident okay I have. Everything's okay now, so anyway, to, on to the N-word incident, everybody. And that's the whole, um, Blood Brother incident. Uh, the what? So, to another incident that I have, and that's the whole, um, Blood Brother incident. Um, Blood Brother incident? Um, and my movie buddy incident, Chase. Yeah? Give me a sec, guys. Oh yeah, don't, don't yeah. mute it or anything. What's going on? <clears throat> I just Oh yeah, alright. I also want- So, I think that was whatever caregiver he lives with, I guess. He lives in some sort of group home thing, I guess. Pretty much, apparently. Um... You know, I, I thought that the guy, he the older man that he lived with in that one video where he was alluding to how he wants to sleep with his puppy plushie. You know, and the older guy's like, Dakota, leave the puppy plushie alone. Um, I thought, I figured that was going to be his dad or something, but it might just be like caregiver man. I don't know. He did say he was in a new home, too. He might have... You know, run out his welcome with his last home. I don't know. I don't know. The bad thing, all. I'm sorry, guys. It's the best I can do. I'm using my phone data. So, um, so, um, so let's move on to the chase incident. Is that, um, is that, is that, I remember, is that, um, the reason why I. So, chase is the name of the dog that he, um, that he has. Um, that's the dog plushie that he, uh, spends time with. That's his best friend, right? So, uh, yeah, that's. I think that's what I'm I want my buddy about. Chase to become my movie buddy, and my blood brother is because. My movie buddy and my blood brother. His dog plushie from his cartoon show, Mighty Pup, 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 Pup Patrol, Paw Patrol, is, uh, is his blood brother. On the whole incident between, um, me and this and movie theater employee, is that ever since after he bought me, and I was really trying my hardest best, so that way he, him and I can get to know each other better, and. And he didn't, and I didn't even understand of what he was saying to me, like in real life. Yeah, that's right, chat member. Uh, he brings his puppy blood, his blood brother puppy plushie to the movies with him. In that video that I made about him, he went to see a movie with a girl, his his sweetheart girlfriend, that he kisses in the video, and she does not look happy about it, by the way. But he kisses her. He also is at the whole time, the whole time carrying his puppy plushie. Who also saw the movie with him and his girlfriend. And I think her caregiver. So, you know, real romantic stuff. It's just, with the whole incident for me, him on Instagram and all that, it was just tough. So, I was I was really upset that that I couldn't find any movie buddies to hang out with. Because, like, all my followers that, on Instagram that I have in the state of New Mexico, like, I only have, like, a couple followers that I knew who are, who are actually from New Mexico. So, like my like my friends I have here, even my buddies. Someone in chat is claiming that they know him, and is dropping some lore about like his mom and the Special Olympics or something. I I mean, I I don't know if you really know him. It's possible, I guess. Um, one thing is, if he does live in New Mexico, that means he's in he's somewhat close to Herbie Hops. I mean, there's a chance that a crossover could happen. Real, and those are the only persons I have in the state of Mexico. So, so after that, um, with that incident, I remember that I was actually in a really bad, um, 
depression that um I actually I actually I don't think there was kids there. Um I put this video on not for kids before I started doing the stream. So anyway, so after that incident, um I was in a really bad depression that I really wanted to have a movie movie buddy like so so bad. And I remember that um one buddy. night I was watching the movie um Cast Away with Tom Hanks. And, oh my god, he took inspiration from Wilson, didn't and he? And I realized that in that scene, um he actually um like cut his hand by mistake and he actually put the blood his blood on his ball when he called him Wilson. And and he actually called him like his buddy. Like every time he wants to talk to someone, he talks to a soccer ball. Chad, I believe he is currently telling us that he was inspired to have a movie plush pl blood brother plushy dog fuck uh puppy plushy. Um, because he watched Cast Away with Tom Hanks. And, uh, and the movie Cast Away with Tom Hanks, where Tom Hanks is, like, alone on an island with no other humans around him, and decides to, you know, befriend his, like, ball because he's crazy, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I haven't watched that movie, but, you know, that's... I don't know if that's the movie you want to take your inspiration from, dude. Like, if you guys have seen the movie Castle Witch, you guys probably know what I mean. So, after I saw the scene where Tom Hanks' character actually got cut his hand by an accident and put his blood on the soccer ball and called Wilson to become his movie buddy, uh, it actually gave me an idea for me to do the exact same thing. So, I took um, a, a little pocket knife that belonged to my grandfather. I cut my, I sliced my hand just a tiny little Jesus cut. Jesus Christ. And then I put a little bit of blood on, on chest. I, I, I like that I never knew this. I just knew that he, like, fucks the plushie or whatever. Maybe that's not even true, but this apparently is. I don't know if this is better. His paw and he shook hands, and, and I actually call him my movie buddy and my blood brother, and. Life is like a box of users. You never know what you're gonna get. The next day, I actually watched the movie Ted. I think you guys have watched the movie. <laughs> Just liking this like progression. <laughs> yeah, I watched Castaway and I decided to make to to spread smear blood all over my plushie so that he'd come to life or something. And then I watched Ted and I was like, oh, that must be what happens after you smear blood on your plushie. You get a a living teddy bear. Be on um, Ted with um with Ted and John Bennett that you I think you guys have if I think you guys most of you guys out there have seen Ted that um that um Ted doesn't have didn't have a hard time making friends and he wishes for his teddy bear to come to life and and ever since this for that they bored Ted So anyway then I watched the human centipede John and best friends and became movie buddies and all that which You know the thing in the movie where they um uh they sew the assholes um um well I thought that would be really good for my movie buddy um, show between me and buddy and Chase we're kind of like we're kind of like um the two what Chase is kind of like Wilson from Cast Away and Ted together and for me, I'm kind of like John Bennett and the guy from Cast Away, Tom Hanks. And that was the reason why that I really want a movie buddy so badly is because I didn't have any buddies to hang out with in New Mexico. So ever since oh that... Oh my god. Friend, don't worry. I think you've got someone who will hang out with you in New Mexico. You know, you just had his 27th birthday. I bet you could cheer him up. Forward. I'm Chase and I um, became movie buddies ever since. Like, I took him to the movies a lot. And, and I took my buddy Chase to go see his first horror movie with me, which was Feriosa. Uh... Yeah, Furiosa, he went and saw with Chase, his movie buddy. Um, right, so someone pointed out, in the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks cuts his hand by mistake, apparently. It's not like he does it on purpose to become a blood brother with Wilson, I guess. I mean, I haven't seen it, but if you're saying that, if that's true, then that means this guy is crazier than Tom Hanks in Castaway. I mean, that was just a happy accident that all that happened, but this, I mean, he went out of his way. He, he's, he's two steps away from a Chase movie buddy Paw Patrol Talpa. But Fairy also was underrated, but throughout, the, throughout all the r movies that Chase and I have saw together, the best movie... Oh, we haven't gotten to the N-word incident yet, chat member. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. The movie between my buddy Chase and I was when we saw <laughs> The Crow together. And we were, and we were blowing our minds, and every time it might feel, and I remember that throughout the time that I was depressed... I bet. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta cry again. But the whole, the whole D Daniel thing is still in my mind. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you. So. I know. I know. Double seven. I know. It's. It was a mistake. I'm so. Thank you, Hey Arnold. Thank you. Thank you, guys, so much. I love you all. I love you all. You're like a family to me.
<laughs> you want your huge family to me. I love every single one of my yeah. 20,000 followers. No matter what happens to my YouTube. Yeah, yeah, the 20,000 followers, they're all his family and friends, guys. Joe, if I don't make my goal to get the YouTube play button, the, the only thing I can say is that I love every fucking single one of you guys. Mm -hmm. I love you all. But anyways, I'm about to pull Chase name. Anyways, on to the, the N-word incident. And ever since that day forward, um, I remember that, I remember that the day after the whole incident with between me and Zach, when I got my temporary write-up, I was so, so depressed. Now, I remember that, um, the whole damn Saturday, I was so depressed that I remember that I went up to Chase and I talked to yeah, him. Yeah, why doesn't he just, like, make a Discord if he's so fucking lonely and he has 20,000 subs and whatever? Like, he could be a use, he could be a normal user that has, like, a Discord where they watch Blue's Clues or whatever, but instead he's choosing to be... Like a weird loner guy who, who who just watches movies with his plushie. I mean, at least go on fucking Discord, dude. To keep me company, and I caught him, and I remember that um, Chase and I watched the movies together. <laughs> like we like we, like I show him some other movie, other army movies that I showed him. Like I showed him Ted. I showed him. The, I, I recently showed him the Ted series. Like 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 we love the Ted series. It was just heartbreaking. heartbreaking. And the best army movie that I showed Chase this year is that him and I we recently just watched Oppenheimer this year for another rewatch and it was my it was Chase another rewatch of Oppenheimer first time watching Oppenheimer and and Oppenheimer. And, and I remember that um, it was <coughs> give me a sec <coughs> <coughs> it was because I was really depressed with the whole Daniel thing and all. So do you think that Chase the dog plushie talks to him? And all that, and I was really looking forward to a movie, buddy, so badly. So, so I know Double Seven. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that cutting myself was very dangerous. And <coughs> yeah, he's got the corpus. So, but yeah, Double Seven. I know, I know that I should have talked to someone about this instead of me cutting myself. Like, like, um, like, um, the, like, um, I think this is. Is that I remember that during the depression, right up and hold the, the, the movie theater incident and all the that. The fuck just I happened? I was so depressed. I knew I'd go up to my buddy Chase and we talked. And I remember that when I, if I still have like a moment, if I'm like, so talk. yeah, I guess he does. He does talk to the fucking plushie. This guy is really insane. I mean, he talks to the plushie. I, I went to my buddy Chase and we talked, and it's his dog plushie. Like myself, I know we talked to my Chase and. And him and I watch like movies or TV shows together, and we watch Robin Hood and Paw Patrol together. <coughs> Fuck this cop! <laughs> Whoa! Don't say bad words, buddy. Sorry, guys. Chase is gonna be upset. I know that I'm coughing a little bit in the live stream, but I just gotta get this job done. I have. I just gotta, gotta get it done. So anyway, so and not talking about the whole thing. Let's get into the M word incident. Between me and Rico. <laughs> Finally! Video, which I'm really trying my best to keep that fucking video away from me. So, apparently what happened was that I think for some reasons that I got like way too angry and then I was saying, saying like the n-word in my older videos back then. And, um... So, I think, uh, I'm not sure about it, but I think I used to say the n-word a bunch. I think. And, um... And I just don't remember... I know, I know, Jeremy. I know it was something that I made a terrible mistake that I have, shouldn't have done. Like I'm, tr I'm going to try my hardest best to remember the video because I deleted that video like five years ago, and I'm trying my hardest best to keep my older videos in the past. And look at me now. Why didn't he say the? Why didn't he tell us the N word story to begin with? He he was like, I'll get into the N word thing after these fucking five or six other sagas that happened in my life. Guys, I'm, I'm completely moved on from my older videos and I'm trying my best to become a mature and responsible YouTuber. So, and... So, apparently what happened was... Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Everyone does think the same. Yeah, it's ironic, though. He did black out whenever he said the N-word, so, like, I don't know if that even counts. He did. So, and another thing I also got to say is that, is that, um... Is that, I remember when I was making a reaction video, um... I think the video um, that Ethan said was talking about the whole subbot incident, and for some reason I called him the N word, and I called him the F word. Um, Wait, I'm sorry. Say I was talking about the whole sub. Is that? I'm and for some reason I called this video. Um, I think the video um, that Ethan said was talking about the whole subbot incident, and subbot incident. So are his twenty thousand subs not even really twenty thousand subs then? For some reason I called him the N word, and I called him the F word. Um, not the other. Um, the not F word. The other. Um, Say what you need to say, buddy. 
You might need to get into some specifics here. Which F word do you mean? Spell it out. Word you mean doesn't matter. Not you, chat. Don't do it, chat. Type of mistake you made. Thank you, Handle. Thank you. I think you still have a check after all the crazy incidents that I have been through in my past. And this is the reason why that I was making YouTube is that like every time I have like a bad day or something, I make YouTube videos to impress you guys. So, so but hey Arnold, if you're still watching this, um, um, no matter what happens to me, um, you will still be my buddy, even if people do unsubscribe to me and all, and all that, all of you guys will still be my family. All of and you guys totally will be that. my buddy. So do we have to like bleed on you or? Thirty-three people are. I don't know if I want to do that. So. So, another thing, thank you, King Arnold, thank you. So, and the whole thing about the whole, um, Ethan incident is that, is that, um, he actually made a video about the whole, um, sub -op videos and all that, which I don't think, which the reason, what's the truth is, the reason why he was complaining about the sub -op videos was because of one of my videos that almost had around like 10 million views, and that was, and that was my Paw Patrol, yeah, video. Paw Patrol, yeah, video. Yeah, double seven. Yes, that was yeah. that was true. And and the thing is about that video, double seven. And the thing about is double seven is that. Hey, now what, Ethan is online. Is is um, Eden now? You get it right. It's not Ethan anymore. It's Eden. It's Eden, and he. We can still say he. It's a, it's the one of the accepted pronouns, by the way. He's he's a he's looking lovely. He's got Lex Updog's hair and Gamer Girl outfit, and he's just looking lovely. Eden. Eden is online. Or, or, or Peden, if you prefer. Um, <clears throat> not sure he wanted to get one letter closer to pedophile, but, you know. I have done in that video. I should have never, ever, ever done that video in the first place. It's just, I was just so angry, you know, and the anger was so much for me that I have to let out that word. Out and I and normally when I get so angry, I couldn't handle the words I'm saying, and that's the reason why that um ever since after the movie theater incident um I recently um seen a speech um therapist. <clears throat> yes, I'm still apologizing. I am. Yes. So. I am. I'm apologizing about everything about what I said. Same here, hey Arnold. I'm. I'm ashamed. Um, no, Jeremy, um, the video was deleted. We need to forgive ourselves. I honestly agree. No, yeah, you can't, listen, don't go looking for the video where Mighty Pups fanboy says the N-word. And whatever you do, if it is re-uploaded somewhere, do not send it to me. And the next I think, next I know that, to learn to forgive. that I've been using sub -bots and all that, I got so <laughs> mad. That I would have to let out that word in all the sexual. I just got so mad I had to let out that word, just like just like Ego Raptor. You know, he just he couldn't bottle it up anymore. He saw a black person, and all the way home from the airport, he was just just going off in his car. You know, that's what I that's what I heard anyway. I mean, that boss and all that. I got so mad that I would have to let out that word in all the sexual stuff and all. <laughs> That because I was really mad. The sexual stuff too. I didn't. I couldn't. He had to let out that word and the sexual stuff. Did he come when he got angry? It seems like a good defense for court, though. Like you know, I listen. I might have done what I did, but I was just so angry. I had to light that fuse, you know, and and put the bomb in the orphanage. It just, it's, you know, there was no other way. You say. <clears throat> On your other channel, and I'm really kind of upset. Yeah, he had to. Forgive me. Yeah. I do forgive you, Spider Man. I, I really do. I do forgive you, Spider Man. I really do. I forgive all of you guys. I really do. And I hope every single one of you guys will forgive me. I really, time. I forgive all of you guys for me saying the N word. I've been to. We can move past this. Yes, Paul Xbox, I know that, and this whole sexual thing to a minor in which I cannot believe. Sorry, the soundboard's not working. Just give me a second here. There we go. What's that? What's up? What's up? Yes, Paul Xbox, I know that, and this whole sexual thing to a minor in which 
I cannot believe um, he, I think he was like 15 or 16 when I made when I made that video. Uh huh. So, so why are you being so sexual to a six to a 15 year old? I just don't know. I, I don't so know. Angry that I have to let out those words. I was just so angry, I guys. I say I just couldn't control my anger that I had to let it out. But but the only thing I can say is um, couldn't see the name. Um, that lava la lava way lava place. So yeah, the the lava ways. If you're watching this, um, I was just so angry that I had to let all the sexual. I had to let it out. But look, I just had to let it out. Okay. But look, I just had to let it out. It's it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody. Everybody does it! Every- ah! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! The good thing is, um, I'm actually okay now. Um, ever since the movie, you're in to make sure this doesn't- I'm okay now, though! Or anything like that. Um, I actually am seeing a speak therapist who comes to my new home every month, um, every other week. And also, I'm receiving OT as well. Um, uh, an optimal therapist, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a therapist now, it's I'm fine, guys. Bad, it's actually, it's dangerous. I know. I know. Uh, it was like four years old. What about four so, year olds? What's going on? Uh, no matter what, uh, it was like four years old. Uh, uh huh. So, so, uh, no matter what happens to me, no matter what happens to me, I promise this won't happen again. And. And um, I know that I will make some other mistakes in the future because everyone makes mistakes, I know. But but I just want to speak to each and every one of you about. I'm sorry, guys. All right, all right, okay, okay. What the fuck is going on? I'm assuming that the person that he said the N word to was 15 or something, and that's why he just had to. He had to let it out. All the sexual stuff that he had stored up, he had to, you know. I mean, he was bursting with it. He had to just let it all out. I mean, about what happened and all that, and um, and no matter what happens to me about the whole chase incident, no matter what happens, uh, he promises though, me, buddy, of course. And I'm and look at the end of the day. The important thing is Chase is not gonna leave him. Plus one two six. If you're watching this, I'm so so sorry for what I have ever done to you, and and even I'm um, just recently with the whole um. Patient in the instant karma thing is just gotta let it out, gotta let it out. I was really upset because like I was because I really wanted um which don't get me wrong, Prince. Oh man, but the thing is that song is called Devil Trigger and you could do some really bad things in relation to what he apparently said to that kid. I really want to get this live stream done. Bang, bang, bang! You're a double N word. It's just a lot of stuff that happened to me recently. Like I got a real bad um allergy attack recently. Now I was sick for a day, but I'm actually okay. No. Thank you, hey Arnold. Was this actually the sexual thing you said about the 15 year old? Dakota. Yeah. Dakota, yeah. I heard you were talking about sexual things with a 15 year old. What's going on in there, buddy? Uh, just give me a sec. <laughs> that is his dad. And I... And a DM. I understand, Ethan. It's just you promised to me once I'm done making this live stream. You told me that you will delete the video. You did promise to me about that. So, so, but the whole sexual thing. Um, I don't remember what I said in the video because, like I said, the video is like five years old and I don't remember what happened. So, um, so Ethan, if you're watching this, I'm really, really sorry about what I have ever done to you. And so basically, he's being like bribed, or not bribed, but like this Ethan fellow is claiming. <laughs> that'll take down a video that he made about Dakota here as long as Dakota admits everything and apologizes for everything I guess and uh, y You know, I gotta be honest. I really hope that he didn't take the video down. I mean You know, I guess that would be dishonest or whatever, but y y You know, I mean, where's the fun in that? I, you um, know, I don't know if um they're moving the employee off. Chat member, we have him on 1.5 times speed. This is already him sped up. Daniel Vasquez is actually watching this, but I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. Um, Daniel Vasquez, if you're watching this video, I am really, really sorry about what have, what happened to you. But the good thing is, um, the only thing I could, the only thing I'm, I am going to say this to you, is that at least um, I'm glad for you that you recently got a job at Costco's, and I bet you are <laughs> making a lot of good friends. 
and I hope you're making a lot more money than you did at your older job. So, Thanks. so I um, met you guys. Um, I just got to say that I love every single one of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm going to lose um, subscribers because of this, but... Um, you know, you might. Promise. Promise me. There's a good chance you might gain some, too. I will not use the Some new members of the, the family. DMCA system every day. Fair use is still a thing. You know, Ethan, um, that just reminded me about that. Uh, I actually did some research about um, the whole fair use thing on Google, and I do understand Ethan. I, prom I promise. And look, um, Ethan, um, um, you did promise me that you... That, um, that um you did promise me that um you will delete the videos on after so the is he claiming that he's not is he claiming that he's gonna stop dmcaing people now well good for him i uh i think that would be wise buddy okay. but um listen Ethan. um if you still want to keep those videos about me i get it it's just everything is all my fucking fault after what i done and I hope every single one of you, including you two, even will forgive me. And even, including you two, and, and yes, even I'm really sorry about about um about about the, the DM. Well, chat member, someone needs to be got caught up, caught up to speed. So let me just um go ahead and uh, hang on, just uh, yeah. okay. So um so um so so and um and um so um um. Um, and, and, and so, and apparently, um, um, so, 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 yeah, so, um, so, yeah, um, uh, uh, apparently, I, um, yeah, so, anyways. Oh. Thank you, Ethan, thank you. Thank you so much. So. So yeah, and Ethan, if you're watching this, I'm also really sorry about what happened with the DMC. Some copyright kicked down. It's just the reason why I did that was because I was so mad and upset about when you brought up my past about the N-word and all that. <laughs> <coughs> about the N-word and all that and mentioning about the whole movie guy incident. It's just, I'm, it's just, I'm really sorry the reason why I did that. The reason why I did that was because I was really upset and angry. It's just, I shouldn't have talked. <coughs> Go for it, buddy. Drink your water. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the reason why I abuse the copyright system is just because I was upset and angry. So it's fine. You know, if I, you know, I know it's like a legal proceeding and I can't do that, right? But like, it's fine. I was angry. Smiley face. It's okay though, I talked to my sentient puppy plushy Chase from the Paw Patrol TV series and he, he calmed me down. I was so angry I had to go have sex with my plushie so that I wouldn't be so angry. Jimmy. Thank you, hey Arnold. So, and, so anyways, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, house, and, <coughs> and we should have talked about this. Someone in the chat says the guy should have remained nonverbal. Oh. On Instagram or something like that. You know, ever since he, says, he said his first words as a baby, all went downhill. You know, it's crazy. And the only thing I could say to um, what happened <coughs> is that, is that, um, <coughs> sorry, my cough is just. Are you, like, dying? What's his deal? He claims he had an allergy attack, like, days before this. And I, I don't know, like, what allergies make you cough? Like, if you were sniffling and, and broken out into fucking hives, then maybe, but, like, coughing? Is that an allergy attack? Are you sure you didn't just get COVID or something, buddy? It's just, um, like I said, I was really upset because when you brought up my past and all that, and that was the reason why I used the DMC, um, takedown and all that. So the next time if something bad happens, we can talk <clears throat> into this and try to find different solutions so that way we can sort this out. Bye, Die Bye, Diego. Thank you. After all, so, so like I said, um, I'm one to officially apologize to so all you guys about. Oh, uh, one guy in chat says that it's boring, everybody. The fun stops here, everybody. That one guy is back to say that the thing is boring. I, I, unfortunate. I here I thought everybody was happy, but one guy said that this this guy is boring. So, it's what, all over. With the whole N-word incident and the whole. 
movie guy incident. And yeah, sorry about the movie guy incident and the N-word incident and the 15-year-old sexual advances incident. I'm sorry, I was angry. Movie buddy incident as well, which is... I had a sexual emergency, I'm sorry. Chase. <coughs> Thank you for telling me that, Jimmy. I demon you about... <coughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Is he like okay? I'll make sure to keep that in mind. So, like I said, um, Ethan, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry for what I have done to you um, all those years ago. Even though that it did happen years ago, and even though that that was a very old video that I made a long time ago, I just want to say that I am really do apologize about what I've done. Even though it was years ago, and you should probably not care anymore, and you're kind of a fucking pill for giving a shit at this point, but whatever, I'm sorry, I guess. Fucking loser. And, and, um... And I don't know if um, the movie theater employee is also watching this video as well. But um, Daniel Vasquez, if you're watching this, uh, I am- Daniel Vasquez, I know where you live if you're watching this. Hi. Really sorry about what happened to you. It's just what I should have done in the first place. It's, it's just I should have talked to um, one of my speech therapists um, if I had the chance before this whole incident happened. And then, and then my speech therapist and I will find a different solution and all that. Yeah, I should have talked to my speech therapist and told them that I was- uh... Planning to chase a guy out of the movie theater and hunt him down and stalk him on social media. And my speech therapist probably would have told me not to, not to. And, um, and the only thing I can say to you is that, um, So that's my bad. At least I'm really proud of you that you did manage to find a job at Costco's. And, um, Good job. And, um, the only thing I can say is that, like, if I do shop at Costco's, if I do, um, see you, like, if you, like, work at the, like, the samples or anything like that, um, I'll make sure that I can just like grab a sample and just leave you alone and not talk to you or anything like that. And and I'll make sure that um, I'll stay away from you. So as long as we stay away from each other, as long as you keep your distance and I keep my distance. And if Imagine you... somebody who says, um, this much. Having a speech therapist. I mean, needing one, maybe. But how long has he been going to the speech therapist and they haven't cracked his ums and sos yet? And if you enjoy your life and if I enjoy mine, everything will work out. I'm not, I'm not saying that you and I can be friends, it's just, it's just as long as we do this, we don't cause any problems. So, so but as for the Chase Plush incident, uh, no matter what happens, me and my buddy Chase will will still be movie buddies. And no matter what happens, the plushie that I own that physically cannot get away from me will still be mine, and I will still inappropriately attribute a personality to it, uh, which does not exist. So, so don't worry about that. Maybe in the future, if I find. I know you guys were all mainly concerned that that Chase would spurn me, but as of yet, uh, simply the mold from Chase is, is is causing me some issues. But he's still with me. Some news. <coughs> um, even on in the. I really, I'm really sorry for you about that. Hang on, I really do. So maybe in the future, no matter what happens, maybe in the future, um, maybe um, maybe I can find someone that find someone that's kind of just like me about the same disabilities that i that i do and some of the stuff that i have been through and him and i will be good friends or anything like that which are, friends. which and you know guys um um if you guys have seen my community type post i I, now, I really don't think you want to be friends with this guy though uh <clears throat> sounds like you know he has those rage attacks like aunt bibby and uh you know he he's prone to you know, just like melting down and saying some sexual shit if he gets angry, or maybe shouting the N word at you if he gets angry, or maybe chasing you down in the streets or whatever if he gets angry. I'm going to Comic Con this year, and and um and the thing is that, and you know, there's actually this one special person who's living in New Mexico, which um he has like the same taste in movies as much as I do. Oh my God, Herbie Hops! Which um the person that I really want to meet in person is it's Herbie Hops. Rita's 23, which he is an amazing- Never mind, it's some other fucking- uh. Amazing, amazing guy. He is such an amazing guy that I remember when I made a video of me trying to for the first time, I, I actually um put at Danny to Real 23 and he actually commented on my video and it actually really made my day and he totally agreed with my opinion. So I just really hope that I can meet Danny Dorito someday in the future so that I can take a photo with him and, and, and post it on my Instagram, say hi to Theo and his wife. And even he has a, a month old baby. But I bet Theo will be happy to see one of his fans and all that. And I'm not saying to like stalk him or anything like that. It's just, you know, maybe something in the future I will bump to Danny D. Uh, I'm not saying to stalk him or anything, but I 
just really enjoy looking at pictures of your one month old baby boy. The movies or or bump to each other when I'm out or bump to each other when we're out at the same movie together and have a good time. So so I hope you guys do understand about the stuff that I have been through. Um did you rich, mm. rich... all the stuff that I've been through in doing things to others that I shouldn't have done. Did we watch Castaway? That's all the stuff that I've been through. And yes, I did. I, I watched Castaway while like after, um during the time about during the time around like, the day after um me and um the movie theater employee bought each other and I went through deep depressions and all that. But the good thing is I'm I'm actually okay now. Um I actually am getting through this about the stuff that happened to me in the past. So I'm guessing that he desperately in a search for friends tried to like corner this movie guy and made him really awkward and uncomfortable. I'm assuming that's what happened, right? Desperate search for friendship. He like, hey, can we be friends? And, and you know, the guy probably ran away from him. And he just continued doing that, like, on social media or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, dangerous individual. I don't know. It's like, it's all, you know, it's all relatively harmless. Like, I think the sexual thing was just him, like, saying... Calling him the F slur or whatever, you know, to the 15 year old. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what he supposedly said to the 15 year old, though. I mean, we're just getting. I'm just trying to piece, piece together the info here that he's given us uh, through ums and so's. So, uh, so um, yeah, you know, I, I, it just sounds like he's someone you probably don't want around you. It sounds like he's a, a person with very poor impulse control. Who can uh, just kind of go fucking snaky and get all fucking flippy on you uh, at a moment's notice? So, anyways, guys, um, from the bottom of my heart, you guys, I love every single one of you guys. Even though that I have been through uh, a tough past recently with um, me and Ethan and all that, but the good thing is, me and Ethan are trying my best to sort everything out so that way, so that way we won't um, happen this stuff ever again. And even if you are watching this, I am going to delete those voice replies and all that, even the instant karma thing, which. Yeah, that, my boss and I went way too crazy on that, which we do a lot of crazy stuff, but not like this. My boss? So, so yeah, but um, but like I say, guys, I love every single one of you guys for the bottom of my heart, no matter what happens to me in the future. Love you too, buddy. Okay, I'm sure he just continues like this. I'm sure it's great. Uh, that's the Mighty Pups fanboy response stream where he addresses everything. All the... All, all the things that need to be addressed are, are addressed, and... And that's great. Um, so I, I think we'll call it there. This, this has been an eventful stream. We've had some real good revelations, you know, breaking out in this one. This is a, It's been a good stream. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Let me see here.